Israel's right to exist, ladies and gentlemen, must be taken for granted. But I would vehemently defend Israel's right to defend herself. It is essential that we stand up against the conspiracy of delegitimization and counter the increasing trend of appeasement of those who wish to bring Israel down. People often ask me how they can best play a role in this fight. Well, nobody in this room tonight needs to ask that question because you've already found the best way to fight for Israel's cause and the cause of Jewish people around the world. The extraordinary work of the AJC is vitally important, both here in the US and across the globe. But, ladies and gentlemen, but, and you may not fully appreciate this, the support that you provide goes even beyond the excellent work of the AJC itself. Tonight, as we are sitting here in this room enjoying this wonderful meal, many brave IDF soldiers, including many hundreds from the United States of America serving with the IDF, are risking their lives to protect the Jewish state. The work that you do and the support that you give to the AJC helps to contribute to the morale of these soldiers and also helps to save their lives. Just knowing that they have such strong support from overseas, from people who may never even have been to Israel, perhaps from people 5,000 miles away on the other side of the world, in New Jersey, gives a boost to these soldiers' morale that is beyond measurable value. And by garnering support for Israel here at home in the United States, and especially among countries around the world, such as the mighty Republic of India, the second most populous country in the world, you are helping to send a message to Israel's enemies, a message of solidarity and of resolve that will undoubtedly help deter the aggression against Israel that is in the minds of so many. This can only aid the cause of peace in the Middle East and therefore help save the lives of Israeli citizens and the soldiers who so valiantly defend them.